Welcome back to Emirates 24-7. We'll go to Katie in just a moment at the video wall for today's trading tip. But before that, we take a look to our next guest, a very special guest, described as one of the forefathers of Arab accounting. He's a pioneer of intellectual property laws and was the chairman of the UN's Global Alliance for ICT and Development last year. The man, of course, is Talal Abu Ghazara and is someone who's had a major impact on technology in the Arab world. So, Talal, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Now, ICT is something that's been central to your career, at the core of your mm -hmm. career, mm -hmm. uh, and something that you've been promoting uh, largely throughout your career with regards to universal access to technology. Mm -hmm. Why is it so important to you? Uh, because, because knowledge is ICT now. If you want to move to the knowledge age, to the knowledge era, you have no choice but to go ICT. Everything has to become, as Bill Gates said, it has to become the nervous system, ICT, has to become the nervous system of the community, just like we have the nervous system in our body. So it's, it's, an, it's, it's the un, inevitable choice for going to the knowledge age. As far as the Arab world is concerned, we have a, signed an agreement, a partnership agreement with UNESCO to develop a, 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 a indicators to measure the readiness in ICT in all fields of knowledge in the Arab world, uh, meaning education, their use in business, use in medical age, in media, in medical services, in, in media, etc. What we're going to do is to try to measure what has been accomplished, what needs to be accomplished, and to develop benchmarks for the Arab countries, particularly in the field of education. Now, that is one area we're working on. At the same time, we're developing a lot of, uh, uh, we have now invested in a lot of projects, in a number of projects. I would mention one of them because of time limitations. Uh, I will talk about an Arab Wikipedia. Okay. We believe that content in the Arab world leaves a lot to be desired. Absolutely. So, so wh where, do you th where do you see development of content in the Arab region going? What we're doing is we're d building our own search engine on Arab content, which on Arabic language content. There is a lot of it on Wikipedia, but what we're trying to do is to have it more content. Uh, it, it is unacceptable that the content that we have, the percentage rate, share, rate, share of, of the Arab language in the Wikipedia uh, in environment is, is, is too, too small. It is difficult to access, and it is probably not correct most of the time. Okay, so something that needs to be developed. Now, one of the issues that we're, we're seeing with content in, in the Arab world, in the Middle East, is, is, is piracy. Now, you yourself are one of the pioneers of intellectual property law in the region, globally as well. Um, what are your thoughts on piracy in the region? We, we lag behind the West when it comes to protecting uh, our, our intellectual properties in many cases. I, 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 I would like to, to present here my case. Okay. I think the Arab world is not the culprit, it's the victim. Okay. We are not creators of piracy. We are the market for pirated products. So if you talk about intellectual property in the real world, uh, if you look at the pirated and, and uh, pro whatever product you want to look at, I don't want to mention particular product, you will see that they come from outside and are marketed on us. So we suffer because we pay for, for an imitation uh, much more than it's worth. So how do we change that then? How do we change attitudes of people in the region to, to embrace the original products and not to, to go to the Most of the products? time, the, it is not a question of culture, it's not a question of will, it's a question of being misled by the exporter who is from outside. Now, if you, I'm still talking about the real world. I don't think we have a problem here. We are one of the best regions in the world in, in ratio of, of pirated internal infringement. If you, most of the infringement is imported and we are not responsible for it. We are doing and we're working with many of the customs authorities in all of the Arab world on how to detect these pirated products at the entry point. Okay. But what is worse and what is more serious is piracy in the, on the internet. And there we have a problem because I have been on many of the international panels uh, that handle protection 
of intellectual property rights on the internet. There, a lot of the needs to be desired. And there, the problem is that the international community, particularly the United States of America, believes that cyberspace is nobody's ownership, nobody's legitimacy, there are no boundaries, there is no international law, and should be kept free. Now, until we, the United States of America particularly, as the global leader, particularly in ICT, comes to the conviction that we need to establish rules in the cyberspace to protect intellectual property rights, we have a problem. And I have been an advocate of more control and more international legitimacy so international agreements absolutely. for protection in the cyberspace. So something that we need to look forward to, something we need to really focus on in the future. Well, thank you so much for being with us this evening on the show. It was an absolute pleasure to have you have a man of your stature with us tonight. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. So what are your thoughts on social media technology and its impact on the region? Let us know on our own social media pages on Facebook and Twitter for your chance to win a new Sony Ericsson Xperia Play, the world's first PlayStation certified smartphone. Here's how to get involved.